My name is Dr. Dieter Breitecker. I am from Germany. I am located in Wiesbaden. And in Wiesbaden, I am the president of the Federal Institute on the Development of Posture and Exercise. I was starting 1981 being employed by this Federal Institute on the Development of Posture and Exercise. Time has changed and more or less people are having their time in restricted areas. living, learning and working environments and how those environments can impact people, that people can maintain a healthy lifestyle. In a special way, we are focusing on motion, on movement, kinetics. Uh, it's not that we are focusing on sports activities or physical exercising. The main focus is how can we integrate motion into our daily routine, but also other important components of a healthy lifestyle like nutrition, uh, healthy sleep and social interactivities are part of that. Spaces in e-motion when you can carry out a physical and emotional lifestyle, this has an impact on your entire system, on body, mind and soul. And for us, it is important that people who are involved into spaces, learning spaces, working spaces, living spaces, that those spaces are getting in touch with the emotions, the emotions to the people because emotions are an important driver for outcomes, for learning and also working outcomes, productivity. Basically, when we are transferring that knowledge that we do have, basing on research, we are more or less talking to groups, to different groups medical doctors, teachers, decision makers, architects, but also we are having projects in the field, which means in offices and in schools to get uh, the information out of the practical field to bring the information into the practical field. How can we convince people? Uh, you know, you can talk a lot to people, they listen to it, but they won't change their lifestyle. I think today we have so many information uh, basing on empirical data, but uh, how important it is to bring those informations to the field, to the people to change their inner attitude, that they change their behavior. This is really a challenge and basically I like challenges. I did a presentation here at US America. So my presentations are more interactive. People have to stand up, they have to move. It's not that movement is a break. Movement is more or less a necessity to understand what I'm talking about. They feel what I'm talking about. And after that, a lady came to me and she had such a modern watch. Uh, the watch is registering all activities and she said very proud, hey, uh, I have seen that I have been so active the last one and a half hour. This is really something what I did not think about. And this is really motivating me to do more. So take people at the hand, bring them to, let's say, individual uh, reflections, feelings. And this is the first step in into a different attitude to change life.